Welcome back to more Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Braylon Allen of the New York Jets. Braylon Allen was the Jets' fourth round pick, pick 134 out of Wisconsin. And at Wisconsin, he had 597 total carries for 3,494 total yards, 5.9 yards per carry, 35 total TDs. He showed out in his first NFL reps with only six carries. And we show, we're going to show you these six carries and show you what potentially they could have behind Brees Hall. And this man is a monster of a running back. Let's dive into it. Welcome to more Sip the Tally. I'm Coach Evans. Let's get started. All right, welcome back to the channel. And um, before we get started, if you do me a favor and smash that like button, I appreciate it. And let's uh, dive into this Braylon Allen film. He had six carries for 54 yards, standing at 6'1", 235. He is a mountain of a back. Solid, solid, solid young man. But let's get into the film of it. Against the uh, Washington Commanders. Running the outside zone out of a... um. Basically, a power I set. Let me go back. Yeah. Old traditional football. You got a fullback. You got a tight end. A power I right, but they run in an outside zone week. Run outside zone week. Let's look at Braylon. So the left, the left uh, tackle gets a hook. But the fullback fits inside of it. So it's really a conundrum for Braylon because you want to fit off the tackle, but you also got to kind of follow the, the fullback as well. Ideally, in my, in my opinion, ideally, the fullback would have seen that and they would have fit this off of him and went that way. And Braylon would have just fit and they would have had a lane. But you got to kind of, you know, Use your instincts. Let's see what we'll see what we get out of it. He fitted. He tried to, he tried to follow his fullback, which is, you know, football. But again, with the fullback not fitting outside of the tackle, which the tackle did a good job of hooking off the, the jump. He tried to follow the fullback and he ended up pushing that thing back and getting what he get. So even if he doesn't follow the fullback and bounce this thing out here. It really, he probably wouldn't have gotten much because if the fullback goes outside like he's supposed to, he would end up picking up number 11. The fullback would have fought, came out here. He would have picked up number 11 and Braylon would have had room to run. So I, I blame this solely on this guy right here because the tackle did a great job of hooking that defensive end from the jump. So the tackle's probably wondering, what the heck are you doing right now? I know I would be. I know I would be, but I blame this solely on the fullback. And so he did, he got what he could on that. Got what he could on that. Let's go to the second carry. You got um, overload. You got two tight ends on the left side. Our right is the way we're looking at it, but the offense is left. Run his own again. So good job with that offhand by the tackle. Of trying to control that gap. Good job by 74. I'm impressed with uh, those two. I don't know if that's Fashanu or not. I have to go back and check my notes. A good job of checking that backside gap and then get up to the linebacker. So great job by him. And look at look at the eyes of, of uh, Allen. Check his, his, his angle point is out here. Before he even gets the ball, just look at his head. Look at his eyes. He's trying to see. Checking his reads. Checking his reads. Checking his reads. All right, he see he see Davis in there, so now I, I got a one cut and go. Stick my foot in the ground, get up field, get up field, and look, look at the look at the alley, look at the alley he got. You just got to finish it. You got to make it happen. Got to make it happen. They got a good lane. He got a turn back by sixty eight. I think the sixty eight right here. You just got to try to hit it and get up in there. Got to hit it and try. Got to hit it and try to get up in there. Got to get them knees up. If he if he get through that tackle, you need a better block by this tight end. 
Is it a tight end overstep? I don't know if the tight end thought he was going to get help or what. These two kind of botched this block on the outside. These two tight ends. So both of his outside runs so far have been kind of foiled by number 52. Tight end left. They run a split zone on this one. Run a split zone. The tight end gonna come across the formation. Come to the back side of the formation. Good double by 60 and the center. Reading it. Sees that that double, you know, see that guy go flying and he cuts right off of look at the bend. Watch him bend it all the way back. He's gonna bend it all the way back off this tackle. Got the combo right there that he go flying. Then you got another combo by 65 and 61. He sees the open. Look at the opening starting to happen. Look at the opening starting to happen all the way back here. Watch him bend this thing all the way back here and hit it. It's already starting to open, so great vision. There you go. There you go, young fella. Stick your foot in the ground. Be patient. Be patient. Accelerate. There you go. Great job of blocking up front, too, by the Jets offensive line. And great job of reading it, being patient. Nice pickup, nice game. Especially after those first two runs. You still you got a tight end and a, a close slot, nasty slot at, at, on the left side. Run a little dark. Run a little dark, and you got this. This is kind of like the little stuff the Rams used to like to do. They'll take this um, receiver and wrap him inside the tight end to try to get on the backer. But you also got this guard pulling from the other side, and you're gonna get the back trying to hit that right there. Seen the Rams do this a lot uh, with Puka Nakua and with, also with um, with um, what's that big receiver Cooper Cup with Cooper Cup. And the commanders do a good job of fitting these guys up. But look at Braylon. Now he slips a little bit. But I, I like the thinking. I like the thinking. I like the reaction. He slips a little bit. gets a, His foot and gets away from him a little bit. But we all know the Jets have crappy, crappy turf. We all know that. But I like the vision. Trying to hit that right there. I like it. I like the vision. And he still makes the most out of it. Gets about seven, eight yards. Good job of seeing it. Sticking the foot in the ground, reading the blocks. Running the daylight. Oh, another thing I didn't notice. Look at him protecting that ball in traffic. Two hands on it. Protecting that ball in traffic. Covering it up. A lot of traffic around. Making sure I don't fumble. At least to the best of his ability. Making sure he don't fumble. Stretch weak. There you go. Using the speed. Using the speed. 74 working, boy. He doesn't get the hook on that on this on this one. But good job of fighting. Good job of fighting. Braylon realizing that he can't. He, even though 74 don't have the hook, this guy fits the gap. And so I'm going to just bounce this thing and use my speed. Now he's in the open field. Good job of blocking by 16. Finishing the run. Delivering the blow. I like that. Delivering the blow. You, sir, are about to get punished. You, sir, are about to get punished. Don't take it. Bam. Deliver it. Deliver it. That's what I like. That's what I like. Finish the run is what they call it. Finish the run. That run was for, I think, 24 yards. That was actually his last run of the game. And I think this is his first run of the game, technically. So this is his first run of the game. A little toss to him. Slips a little bit. Trying to read it. Good cut, though. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. Keep your feet, though. 
Keep your feet up on you. Keep your feet up on you. See what you're trying to do. But all in all, good first showing by Braylon. He got him six good carries. They got him up out of there. Uh, six carries for 54 yards. So um, I think they're going to have a good one-two punch with him and Brees Hall. And they also actually got a third running back that I really like also as well. So um, this is what I got for you with Braylon, Braylon Allen. And again, the Jets got a steal of a running back out of this kid right here from Wisconsin. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. And if you want to be here and we drop more uh, preseason videos, hit that subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of the content drops throughout the rest of the preseason and the 2024 NFL season. This is Coach Evans with another video. I appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.